All right, we are back with the FlightScope Mevo Plus, uh, connected to TGC 2019, and alongside High Definition Golf. Uh, did a quick video earlier, just showing a quick couple shots on the range. Played TPC Sawgrass uh, number 17 uh, with some putting. So if you want to see some putting, check out that first video. Uh, which also, you know, I would really recommend you hit the subscribe button in the lower right. Uh, some people have asked about videos, and most of them are in the channel already that they've asked about. Um, but feel free to ask about other ones. But hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll know, you know, what else is coming out. Um, so we're just going to hit a few balls here. I'm set up. I made sure everything was up and working. I figured that we would hit like a 54 degree first. It's the same setup I've had. Uh, seven feet behind the ball, 10 feet to the screen, Pro V1 with the metallic dot for FlightScope Evo Plus, and the reflective strip for HD Golf. And we should be good to go here. We're on the range. And let's just go ahead and hit this 54, which is to go about uh, 100 to 105 yards or so. You notice a little more of a delay uh, on TPC, or TGC, I'm sorry, TGC 2019 versus E6 Connect. Um, not a big deal uh, to me, but definitely a di uh, different, you know, uh, delay versus E6 is almost instantaneous. Uh, let's pull some data up here and look at it really quick. Spin was 88.82 versus 92.13. Carry was 98 versus 96. Club head speed 78 versus 75. Ball speed 80 versus 77. Launch angle 31 versus 32.5. Uh, everything is relatively close. I will point out that the club face and the swing path are an estimated uh, value. So I verified with FlightScope that they are not sending that data. That's why it's blank in E6 Connect. Apparently, the Pro T guys are using the data and coming up with a calculated amount, but it appears to be off. Not always, but off. If you look right now, it says outside in one degree, and my outside in was 0 0.6 degrees, and I was a tiny bit closed, and it was a tiny bit open, so I've seen it be relatively close, but fair warning, it also is off, you know, so. Um, it doesn't have a dedicated club camera like HD Golf, and um, I've noticed it be off on several occasions. So that actual data is not being sent from FlightScope Nevo Plus. So that when I talked to them, they said they didn't want to mislead anybody. So that's why they, they were talking about removing the boxes from E6 Connect altogether. I don't know if it'll happen on TGC or not. We'll have to wait and see. Let's hit a nine iron. That was probably, yeah, I felt like it was going to pull a little bit there. It was struck well. 150, 155, what it should carry, 154 on HD, 153 on TGC. I'm going to pull that info up. 69.39 spin and 66.98 on HD. Relatively close. Club speed, 83 versus 83. Uh, I mean, 82.8. I'm going to round some numbers if they're that close. Ball speed, 111. Ball speed, 107.7. Smash factor, 1.34 versus 1.3. Um, launch angle, 22 versus 22. Wow, really close numbers on this 9-iron. Um, I will tell you what I'm kind of seeing on E6 and TGC, the first shots I've hit, even HD Golf. If you're hitting clean shots, it appears all of these monitors are going to be able to read those balls easier. You know, if it's a hook or it, it's low or it, you know, you popped one up, whatever you did, it's always more difficult for, you know, the launch monitor or camera, whatever you're dealing with, to read. Um, I think everybody needs to remember that. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of us are pros, and you're going to have some various shots. So, you know, be a little forgiving to your equipment 
you know, uh, and know that if you hit a good shot, it's more likely uh, it's going to be more accurate. That's based on, you know, my experiences, you know, having multiple software and multiple devices. All right, 7 iron. We usually carry this 175, 180. that was going right. Almost called it out, but it's okay. It was still well struck. It looks like it carried 177 on HD, and it looked like it was going to be similar, 173 on uh, TGC 2019. Club head speed, 86 versus 86. Uh, ball speed, 120 versus 119. Smash factor, 1.39 versus 1.37. Launch angle, 20 degrees versus 21 degrees. Um, look at that club face, a little bit open, a little bit inside out, but they showed a little more open, but you know, not inside out at all. It's you know, straight uh, swing path. So, I mean, like I said, what I've noticed so far is, is that that swing path and the face angle can be really close. Um, I'm just not gonna tell anybody to rely on it because based on what I was told, uh, you know, it, this is calculated data. They don't want anybody to be misled, which I can understand. Um, so let's switch to, let's see here. Well, you know, why don't I hit a 5-iron? I was going to go to driver. I'll hit a 5-iron. Um, faster club head speed, faster, faster ball speed. Um, let's see if I can... I'm selecting that club, like I said, every time, because I, I did it on E6, and I feel like, from what I've been told, it narrows the window for the speeds for the device to look at, and obviously, uh, because of that, um, it makes it easier for it to read. Five iron. Decent strike, usually at 200 and whatever, you know, 2, 205. Looks like I struck it pretty well though because HD has it at 210. That'd be like my long 5 iron, you know, but I can hit it that far, but not every time. 206 on TGC, um, still really close. Uh, 41, pull that back up, 41. 97 spin versus 39.92. That was pretty close, considering a much faster club. Club head speed, 91. Club head speed, 91. Ball speed, 130. Ball speed, 130. Launch angle, 17. Launch angle, 16. Wow, these numbers are, uh, are close. Smash factor, 1.43 versus 1.42. Um, not gonna lie, I mean, this is, this is really close. Um, I haven't hit, I've only had this software for like 12 hours, so I haven't hit a lot of clubs, haven't hit a lot of shots. Um, my club head camera on HD showed it one degree closed, and you can see how it was a little open, two degrees open, so completely different data. I do swing a little inside out, um, and usually a little closed. Um, I mean, it's still, like I said, take it for what it is. Um, does the data from HD justify, you know, the ball? I mean, you can see right on the screen where the ball went on HD. Um, it didn't go quite as far right, that red line. I should have reset this, but you can see the red dot over here too. It didn't go quite as far right as it did on TGC. Close, um, just not quite as far right. You know, um, not too far off. Well, let's get out a driver, which is probably the club in my bag that is the biggest struggle right now. So. I'm going to try to not really swing after it, and I'm going to try to hit a couple of decent balls here. Um, I can't promise anything. I haven't even swung a driver today, so uh, hopefully I just need to get some decent strikes, and we can get, uh, you know, get some good data comparison. That was a good drive for me. Usually I'm about 250, 260 carry. Looks like I'm gonna get a little more than that, so that would be a well-struck drive for me. Uh, if I can carry 270, I'm really happy. HD Golf had it at 267, um, 269. 
Uh, wow, really close uh, in carry distance. Backspin, 2195 versus 2641 on HD. A little bit lower on TGC than the FlightScope Evo Plus. That's interesting. Um, hey, you know what? I didn't change my club, I don't think. Wonder if that plays an effect on that spin. Um, that's my fault. We'll hit a couple more drivers. I, I slide it on 5-iron, so I don't know if that plays an effect. Um, it might change the algorithm. Club head speed 104 versus 107. Ball speed 155 versus 155. 1.49 smash versus 1.45. Launch angle of 17 uh, versus 14. So a little bit higher launch angle. But I wonder if that's because it's reading a different launch angle um, window. You know, that's how this club selection, I believe, works with the, the device, is it narrows the window of each data point, and that way, you know, it only has to search in that data point, and it's quicker to calculate. Um, like I said, it's from my understanding. Feel free to comment below on what you've read or been told. Um, let's see if we can hit another driver. Now we're on driver. You can see you can use Z and X as hot buttons. I'm using I to pull up the information. The one interesting thing I found is like when you're on your wedge, it says normal up there and you hit C, it says flop and punch. I don't know if, it, if it's affecting the ball flight or if you're going to get the same result no matter what. I mean, I know this is based off of more of a video game um, and now they took the simulator data and made it work in it. Um, I'd be interested to see what everybody says about that. Feel free to comment below and let me know because I'm new to TGC so I don't know. See if I can hit another decent drive here. Whoa. I do not feel like that was a proper read. I feel like it missed my drive. Yeah, it's showing it's seven degrees outside in, and yet I felt like that was a, a good strike. Um, 240 carry versus 257. Um, and I'll be honest, I've had no misreads on drives inside of E6, so that may be a TGC misread um, based on what I've experienced. Because, I mean, I honestly, I don't think I've hit one bad, you know, misread versus HD golf. Um, let's look at, like, the spin, see if it missed... Missed spin or something. 17, 15 versus 23. And then it said that I was outside in 7 degrees. And I was basically square on HD, which felt I felt like a good strike. So, launch angle was the same. Alright, let's hit another ball. You know, and that's, I mean, are the settings all proper? I haven't messed with any settings other than in TGC, 7 feet behind the ball. Um, I haven't had many driver either, so maybe we'll hit a few of these if I, if I can hit them decent. That had to be a, a misread of some sort. Now that was off the toe a little bit, <laughs> but that's a proper ball flip. Definitely hit that off the toe. Uh, HD Golf 254 with a spin of 1836. Okay, look how close that spin is. And then 269 and 254, um, closer. Let's look at the other data points really quick. Uh, and don't forget, I'm using the metallic dot and the reflective strip. I think that because of that, you could cause a higher chance for a misread. Um, so uh, I think that's important to remember. Even this ball is starting to get a little worn you know, I really should have started with a brand new ball. Um, but this is giving us a good idea. Um, club speed 102, club speed 105, ball speed 154 versus 154, launch angle 16 versus launch angle 14. Um, I mean, that was, that was a lot closer. Yeah, I personally think that, uh, I think that was just a mystery. I think it happens. Um, it's just funny that I haven't had the Mevo Plus miss one in E6 yet. Uh, so, I'm not quite sure how to take that. But I like to show it how it is. 
you know, and I think everybody's played in a simulator, whether it's a super high end or not. I mean, HD Golf will miss a ball randomly. Not often, but it will. That was a good drive. They're carrying, that's, that's, you know, that's a good drive for me. 265, 270, HD Golf. 266 versus 273. Look at the spin. 28 versus 28. Um, outside in two degrees, outside in two degrees. Hey, see? I mean, sometimes they're close. Let's pull it up, up for launch angle. Launch angle 15 degrees versus launch angle 13 degrees. Club speed 105 versus 106. Ball speed 158 versus 157. I mean, those numbers are pretty darn close. So we clearly, you know, identified a mystery today. Um, very well could have been the integration between uh, TGC and, and the Nevo Plus. I mean, this just got released. Um, I have not had a misread yet um, out of a decent amount of balls. I mean, obviously it's been the first 12 hours. So like I said, I'm using a ball with multiple markings. So I really wouldn't take that misread as like an alarming by any, by any means. So um, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, hit that subscribe button in the lower right. Uh, you know, stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.